Hey everybody, it's Lisa from the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Movie Hangout Group. We've had some questions on the board today about how to download fonts. I have done one video on it, but the sound wasn't very good, so hopefully this one is better. So what I did was I went to the Hungry JPEG site, bought a font, which you can see right here. You're going to click the download button. And if yours shows up at the bottom of the screen or does a pop-up like mine, I typically go to Save As because I always want to save a copy of this font. Um, I do name it so I can find it later, which I probably spelled that one wrong. But um, I usually save it to my desktop. If you don't name it, you saw it had tons of word or numbers there. I'll never be able to figure out what it is. So desktop, name your font, and hit Save. This is actually going to save a copy of the font onto your hard drive which is what you want, okay? Um, I've lost like three computers here in the last couple of years and I've lost all my fonts and I can't always remember where I bought them from. So I have a special folder on my desktop which I also um, back that up to my hard, external hard drive so I don't lose my fonts. Okay, so Hungry JPEG, go to Save As. Once you save it and it's downloaded, you'll see this box pop up. I'm gonna click Open. Oh, you may not get this one, but if you do, just say, okay, you should get this screen that pops up. Now, what you're going to notice is there's an extract button at the top. Basically, these are all like packaged up in a box with tape. Like when you get shipping from Amazon, you want to unpack it before you actually are able to install it on your, on your computer. So I usually go to extract. The next box, box that pops up, extract all. Everything that's in the box, we want to take it out. Whatever the default here is, I leave it because basically what it's doing is it's creating a folder on my desktop name to that font. Then you hit extract. So now we're going to unpack the box. So the difference between this screen and the one before is there's no more extract. If you get just the extract here and you leave it alone, you cannot install the fonts. That's what a lot of the problems you guys are having. So before I install this font, I want to make sure that my silhouette program is closed because it'll never show up in your list of fonts unless you shut the software down. So if you're going to install any kind of fonts, just go ahead and close the software and open it up when you're done installing. Okay? Because if you don't do that, it won't show up. So I'm going to double click. Now there's been some discussion about different types of fonts to choose. I always choose the OTF for, in my mind, it's open this font because it has all the most updated uses, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So if it actually had swirls on the end, <clears throat> excuse me, or anything like that, or little um, glyphs is actually what they're called. Um, in the TTF fonts, they're not in there. Those are actually older fonts from like when Windows first started. That's the older version. Okay. This one actually has two different sides to it. There's a regular and spunky. I simply double click and I hit the word install. And then it installs the font. If you already have the font on your computer, it will tell you. Double click on the next one, and I'm going to hit install. Just like that. That's the easiest way to install a font from any, and it doesn't matter if it's Defont, Hungry JPEG, Creative Market, or wherever you're getting it from, it does not matter. It's going to be the same process. Okay, so like if I go to download this font, Save as. See how it has all the numbers at the bottom? You need to change it to the name of the font. Save it to your desktop. Hit save. Now, when I go to download this, so I'm going to hit open. Remember, you have to extract everything. So go to extract, like you're unpackaging, you know, something you got from Amazon or your kids are ripping their presents open at Christmas. You have to unpack the package. Extract all. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Extract. Double click on the font. See, this one has two different choices. You want to use the open this font, OTF. Okay. It's the more, most up to date programming, I guess, is the word you want to use. Double click. Now, if I have this installed on my computer already, when I hit install, it asks me if I want to replace it because it's already on there. Usually I hit no because I already know it's there, so it doesn't matter either way. Okay, that's basically the quick rundown of how you're going to install your fonts on your computer. Now, if I go and open up my Silhouette program, 
I should be able to find those fonts on there. If your Silhouette program is open and you go to install fonts, you always have to close it first. So a good rule of thumb is when you're going to install fonts, go ahead and shut your Silhouette program down. So here's my program. I'll click on the A because that's for my fonts. And the one I installed right now was what I call Dramaticus. Dramatic. I go over here to my font style and I just start typing in the letters. So there's my font. And then there's the other version of it. So if you ever can't find it, make sure you close your software and come back into it. So if you have any questions, just give me a yell. You guys have a good evening. Um, enjoy installing your fonts. And if you have more problems, just let me know.